Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and today we are taking a look at an updated warrior slash barbarian build after the last patch which has basically made uh, the healing aura completely pointless for us. So what are we going to do now? Well I'm going to show you. So let's dive straight in shall we? So what we're doing is we're becoming the arms master. We are an expert at using everything and we have massive amounts of survivability and we have the right weapon for every single different job so let's start it out shall we the uh, tree you should really really start off with is uh, the warrior tree going down into constitution the warrior's path strength and at this point in the game Decide which way you want to go. At the end, you'll get both. But to start off with, decide whether you want to go with axes or hammers. So if you go with axes, go slasher, butcher, veteran. If you want to go with hammers, go for brute, hammer time, veteran. As I said, you will get both of these through at towards the end of the build. But at the moment, just pick one and stick with it. Or change your answer. 10 runes to change. Do what you want. And then into veteran. Pick up both these nodes here for constitution and strength and then into swift blades so this is going to be giving us the sword and board style of fighting and then we're going to be jumping in over here to pick up merciless attack probably the first thing you want to pick up out of everything to be honest merciless attack into constitution into shiny plates into heavy plates then we're going to pick up evasion attack and battle heal to give us that lovely lovely five percent heal on a crit then down here into constitution tower strength earth aura constitution and strength we don't want nemesis and we don't want arch enemy they're pointless so this is going to give us the survivability and heal on crit and before we go into the barbarian tree it is i highly suggest picking up ranger quite early on because as soon as flying or floating enemies turn up, you cannot do anything about them without a bow. So this is why we're going to put as little points into it as we can to make it effective. So we're going to be taking dexterity into marksman, into sharpshooter, into skill shot, into multi shot, and into ranger. And also this 5% crit and crit damage isn't just for ranged skills, it's for everything. So this is going to help boost our melee capacity as well. And do remember, like I said on my ranger video, when you shoot extra arrows, they're not free. They will come out of your arrow stockpile. So just be aware. Once that's done, you can either go for putting points into jump attack and double jump. Again, you can do this very early on. Or you can go straight into the barbarian tree. So with the barbarian tree, we're going into strength, heavy-handed, strength, constitution, Relentless, Breach, Constitution, Heavy Specialization. Uh, I have done a lot of testing of this, and I know it says it allows you to attack faster with two-handed hammers, but it does also work with two-handed axes. It just doesn't say it in the tooltip. But it, it buffs both of them, So, which is also why we've gone for both Cutting and Blunt over here, because we can switch between whatever the hell we want. And then into Barbarian and into Blood Rage. Now for the rest of the tree, up here we've got strength, jump attack into strength, double jump, runner, endurance, wanderlust, and good metabolism. So this is the arms master. We are good at using every single weapon. We're not just good, we're amazing at using them. That means we have the tool for every job out there. And a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot of survivability. Okay. So, if you're doing this while leveling instead of just picking up a straight level twenty-five and doing this, I would definitely stick with or start with merciless attack into the warrior tree, into the ranger tree, jump attack, double jump, pick up some defense pick up the Barbarian, and finish off in the Survivor Tree. Right, so 
what weapons, armor, rings, etc. are we going to be using? Well, I'm going to show you. So, at the moment, I'm using the, the full Radiant Paladin set. It gives us melee critical strike chance, health and stamina, damage against melee foes, health regeneration and health. Health regeneration is incredibly important in this build. Health regeneration and health regeneration delay on the boots. Uh, Ring of Endless Life. That is 3% chance to leech 100% of your damage. So this thing is absolutely amazing. And lastly, I'm using a Ring of Health for 2 health regeneration and an extra 30 health. And for the shield, I'm using the Shield of Light, as I haven't found anything better yet. And for the bow, I'm using the best bow in the game for us. And that is the Ignited Bow. And the reason it's the best bow in the game is because... Yeah, let me see if I get to the backpack. Of this. Extra damage, extra damage, extra damage, extra headshot damage. Well, extra stamina on headshot. And increases health regeneration by one. So this bow is going to help keep us alive. Now, for your ra your uh, ranged, your melee weapons. We are not locked into using any... Like, only magical weapons, only bladed, only blunt. You can use whatever the hell you want. And uh, this is what I've come up with so far. Sword of Radiance. Cutting and blunt. And it's got nothing but crit on it. So if you can pick yourself up one of these, I would highly suggest it. Uh, for your two-handed weapons, you can go for the Deep Root Axe, which has got plus cutting and then plus critical hit damage. And the best in slot hammer in the game at the moment is the ignited hammer. And as you can see, it's just blunt damage across the board. So if you can find this hammer, use this hammer. And as for other weapons to use, I am using the ice blade because it's a very nice one handed weapon, but I've yet to find an, a legendary version on this character. I do have one on my ranger, but I'm loath to switch them around. And this is generally what I'm using. And for the playstyle, most of the time you will be using your hammer. But when you come up against things like the poison rages in the scavenger camps, you will either switch your sword and board, or you will go and hide somewhere and shoot down at them. But because we have the ability to do it all, you have something in your toolkit for dealing with anything. But as you can see, it's still quite slow going. Jump attack's hilarious. I don't think we need the, the improved jump attack because... I mean, it's not that great. And the normal jump attack kind of does all right anyway. And then if you feel like you're getting a bit surrounded, you've got your sword on board, and you can just dodge around. But I absolutely love this sword of radiance, it's just a crit machine. So that's generally it. You know, you are the arms master. So I hope this guide helps, folks. And if it has, please, uh, you know, like, subscribe, ring that little bell for notification. It really does help us out. And if you've got any questions about the build, please do feel free to ask, to ask down in the comment section. I'll get back to you, all of you folks with anything you need. And I'm just going to put the skill tree back up on the screen for a second just so you can pause and look at it it's going to slowly rotate round so you can stop where you need to there you go All right but yeah that's the arms master for you now i really do hope you enjoy it folks and if you have please like subscribe ring that little bell for notification it really does help us out and uh, i shall see you all for the next one so until then enjoy take it easy and i shall see you later